Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys miss me as much as I miss y'all. We are hopping right into the Valentine's Day series for 2022 and I'm recreating the blackened salmon dish. So let's hop right into the video. We're gonna be adding crab cakes to this blackened salmon dish. So I'm starting off with my traditional crab cake recipe. I have one egg and then I added in a half a cup of mayo and then I'm adding in some seasoning. I added in black pepper, Old Bay, of course, seasoned to taste, and some Creole seasoning, and some parsley. I'm gonna add in some, about a, a half a tablespoon of honey Dijon mustard. And of course, I'm gonna leave all the measurements in the description box below. And then I'm gonna add in um, two to three sprigs of thyme leaves, and then about a half a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. And I'm gonna whisk everything around, and then I am using two types of crab meat. I'm using the extra jumbo lump crab meat that I found at my grocery store, and then I'm gonna add in the, you know, the normal size lump crab meat. And then I'm gonna add in one cup of breadcrumbs and I'm gonna gently fold everything together. And then I'm gonna uh, taste, I did taste the mixture and I felt like it needed a little more Obey. So I added some more Obey, folded that all together. And then I'm gonna place this in my refrigerator for 30 minutes. 30 minutes later, I'm going to come back so I can form them. And I'm using some cutters that I got from Target and I'm using a small, the smaller one. I don't remember the size. And I'm just gonna use that to shape it. You can make the crab cakes however big you want to. This a mixture made eight crab cakes the size that I'm using it made eight of them you can use the bigger one and make like two or three or you could use the smaller one like me and make eight and then I have my oven preheated to 425 degrees and I'm going to place these in my oven until about about 15 minutes and or until they become nicely golden brown moving on to our salmon this is the same way that I always make my salmon I'm just gonna season it with the same seasonings that I use when I season the crab meat. The only thing that I didn't use was the parsley. Um, and I'm gonna make sure I season both sides. Kosher salt, kosher salt black pepper, obey, Creole seasoning, um, and that was it. And then moving on so we can uh, saute these, I'm going to use grapeseed oil and I have my stove on a medium high heat and I'm gonna gently place them into my stove. After about three minutes, I'm gonna flip them over so the other side can look nice and, and crispy like this. And then I'm going to, once I flip my salmon, I'm going to take a half a stick of butter, place that into my pan, let that melt. I'm gonna throw in some lemon juice and then I'm gonna throw in some more thyme leaves. I threw in about two to three uh, sprig of thyme leaves. And then I'm just gonna baste my salmon. For a, I'm just gonna baste it. I did it, I think, for about three minutes. And then at this point, your crab cakes should be done. So you can take them out the oven and then cut your oven down to 375. And I'm gonna place my salmon into my oven. If you are using a skillet to make your salmon, you can put your skillet straight into the oven, but I'm gonna be putting my salmon on a tin pan and I'm just gonna let it cook until it's completely done. And then speaking of the crab cakes, guys, this is how they should look when they come out. And if you want to, you can put the butter on them now or you can wait till the end. Now moving on to the shrimp. I'm using the 16 to 20 count shrimp and it's peeled and deveined and I left the tails on. And I'm just gonna season this with some paprika for color, some obey, some Creole seasoning, some black pepper and some kosher salt. Same seasonings, guys, I'm using all throughout this uh, dish. And I'm just gonna uh, thoroughly mix them around so then we can uh, sear our uh, shrimp, so many S's, she sear our shrimp on our stove, but I have my stove cut to a medium high heat again, and I'm using grapeseed oil again. And again, I'm gonna sear my shrimp for about 45 seconds to one minute per side. We don't wanna cook these all the way because we are gonna, we're gonna add these back once we finish making our sauce. So once you let them cook for about 45 seconds, you wanna flip them, and then you want to uh, sear it on the other side. And then we're gonna remove them from our uh, pan so we can make our sauce. Okay, so now our shrimp is out of our pan. I'm gonna add in a half a stick of butter and I'm gonna let that melt. And then I'm gonna add in a half a cup of finely diced onions. I'm gonna let that saute until the onions become translucent. And then of course, I'm gonna add in some Moscato. And I, the, my rules are still the same. 
pour one in and drink the other three. And I'm gonna let that cook until the um, Moscato and the, the wine just, you know, reduces to about 25%. Um, and my stove at this point was just on a medium heat. And then after it, as you can see, it started to reduce. I added in um, about one cup of heavy whipping cream and I just mixed that all up in there and it smells so good. And at this point, you can taste it. You can, uh, this is when you wanna add some seasonings, some parsley, some black pepper, any type of seasoning that you wanna add to it. Just taste it and just add a little bit of seasoning and then taste and then if you need to adjust, you can go ahead. Don't don't go in and just be adding in a lot of seasonings because once you add it in, you can't take it out. Um, and then also remember, it's a lot of seasoning still on the shrimp. So your shrimp will season your sauce as well. But I'm just going to let this uh, cook on a low heat until it looks something like this. And we are going to move on to our greenery. So I decided to change up the greenery that I used from the first video. I made asparagus. This time I'm making some garlic butter green beans. And it's so easy to make. It takes about 12 minutes. So all I'm going to do is I have my stove and I heated up some hot water, threw some kosher salt in, let that boil for about seven minutes. Then I'm gonna blanch my um, green beans and all that is is taking the green beans straight out the pot and then putting in them into some ice cold water, as you can see, literally ice cold water. And then um, once you have that all in there, just, just let it sit. And you can let it sit while you are making your garlic butter sauce. All that is, is a half a stick of butter, one tablespoon of minced garlic, or you can use fresh garlic if you want to, um, but just mix that around on a medium low heat. Um, and then once everything is mixed and make sure not to burn your garlic, you're gonna throw your green beans back into that sauce. And then you're just gonna season it with some black pepper, some kosher salt and some onion powder and toss that all around. Let that cook for about an additional two to three minutes. And that's it. That's all it is too, but the greenery. I actually like the green beans y'all with this dish better than the asparagus i don't know it's something about the garlic it's something about the garlic with the mashed potatoes and the sauce it really took it to another level but moving on to presentation time because we all know presentation is key and i'm using the same plate i believe i used in the first video and instead of putting the mashed potatoes down first i put down the green beans then the mashed potatoes and these are leftover mashed potatoes y'all don't judge me and then i added on my salmon and since it's valentine's day i well not today but you know the valentine's day series you can make you can form your um shrimp into like a little heart pour that sauce on top of that salmon and let the sauce drizzle on down to the mashed potatoes and then the beautifully cooked crab cakes put that on top and you can drizzle some butter on top of those and that's it way to start off our valentine's day series for 2022 with a recreation of the black and salmon dish i am so excited but that's it guys be sure to like comment and subscribe make sure you guys are washing your hands and i will see you guys at my next video